number 18. Oh, this is lesson 1.3 into math, fifth grade, and uh, part two of our recording. Number 18, a shipping company buys 60 trucks for $30,000 each. What is the total cost? So we need to triple 60 trucks, $30,000 each. What we're looking for is what is the total cost? So what are we going to do, guys? 60 times 30,000. What is 6 times 3? 18. 18. And add how many zeros? 1, 5. And then come back. 3 from the right. Add in our commas. So it would be what? 1,800,000. Right? Okay. Item 19. What is the total weight of this 20 similar semi truck? Um, cabs and trailers. So 20, right? And then over here is our other information. And then total weight of those. So 3 times 2 is 6. I have one zero there. And how many other zeros? 4. So a total of 5, right? Come back 3 places from the right. And our answer is 600,000 pounds. Number 20, 300 students participate in the jump-a-thon, and they each jump rope 600 times. What is the total number of jumps? So, 30, right? 600 times. What is the total number of jumps? Okay, so, what's my equation? 30 times 600. So, 3. So, 3 goes in a box. 6 goes in a box. 3 times 6 is... 18 and add three zeros, come back three from the right. So 18,000 jumps. Number 21, 400 students each jump rope 70 times. What is the total number of jumps for this group of students? So 400, 70 times. What is the total number of jumps for this group? So what is my work? So 400 times 70. 4 times 7 is what? 28. And add how many zeros? 3. Come back. 3 from the right. So 28,000 jumps. Question. Number 22. Use repeated reasoning. The store sells 50 basketball backboards and stands for $700 each. How much does the store earn from these sales? Okay, so $50, $700 each. How much does the store um, earn? So what am I going to do? We're going to do 50 times 700. So what they want us to do, though, is they want us to do repeated. So we would do what? Five times seven. Five times seven times what Five. times 10 how many zeros do we have here so really we need to do 10 to the third power right is what we need to work our way up to so 5 times 7 times 10 to the first power equals what so 35 and add one zero 5 times 7 times 10 to the second power is what? Whoops. Is 35 and then add two zeros, so 3,500, right? Five times, oh, keep forgetting the seven. Five times seven times 10 to the third power equals 35 and add three zeros. So, so they earn $35,000. So if you see a problem like that where they want you to use um, multi, um, multiplication facts in a pattern, that's what um, your work is going to look like. Okay? Number 23, use structure. How many zeros are in the product of any non-zero poll number and 1,000? So how many zeros would there need to at least be? Three. So at least three. At least three because you have what? Three and one thousand. 
because you have, because 1,000 has what? Has three zeros. There are 24 of these three people agree with me. What is three times 10 to the second power times nine times 10 to the third power? Use the multiplication fact and pattern. So basically, we need to get up to three times nine times 10 to the what power? Fifth, right? So we do three times nine times 10 to the first power, which equals what? 27 and add one zero. Three times nine times 10 to the second power would be 27 and add two zeros. Next one, three times nine times 10 to the third power. So you write 27 and add three zeros, right? Next one, three times nine times 10 to the fourth power. So we write 27 and add four zeros. 270,000, three times nine times 10 to the fifth power would get us 27 and add five zeros. So that gives us what? 2,700,000. Okay.